you inherited a group that had a lot of fing a lot of fingers pointed at it. Where where do you think this offensive line is right now after a few weeks with them or several months with them? I guess. Yeah, I've, I think it's been about six weeks. But uh, number one, great group of guys work really hard and they care, and I think they've really improved on what we've tried to get done. And I like where we're at. We're a work in progress. We're not a finished product at all. But I think everyone that would say that there's been a lot of progress made and the defense would tell you that, the offensive line would tell you that, and the coaches will as well. So I like where we're at. I like where we're headed. We just got to keep going. How and much, I think we can be a very solid Big Ten offensive line. How much film of this group did you watch later? Did you want to come in with a blank slate or did you really study? I didn't do much of that because I like for it to be – I like to watch them in the off season. so I watched them in our strength mm -hmm. workouts. I watched our 6 a.m. workouts that I was part of and just evaluate that way and then put them through practice and just evaluate and give them all a chance to have a reset start. They're all on reset. Now they can show what they are, who they are, what they need to work on. And uh, that, thing, that whole process is going really well. How much mixing and matching are you doing it with them in terms of positions? Um, they've got to learn all all positions, or we teach we teach it that way. We're going to try to get the five best guys on the field, but for the install, we've kind of stayed fairly static in terms of. I think that when you can plug them into the right spots, so one of the things I like to do is watch them and evaluate and try to get them in the right spots as early as possible. Now injuries sometimes force you to move around. So we do have some players that can play multiple positions. Um, you know, like Steve Spinellis is playing some center and some guard. So he's a guy that can play multiple positions, I think. Smart kid. And, uh, you know, Andrew Stuber can play some guard or some tackle. So we're, we're doing some of that with him. Um, you know, James Hudson's coming around, you know, guy that moved over from defense. Got a high ceiling, a lot of upside. Toledo Central Catholic kid, um, really like him. He's coming on. He's not a starter, but he's a guy that, you know, redshirted last year, was a defensive player, and all of a sudden he's in the mix to be in the two deep and play for us as he continues to develop. But uh, we're not moving him around too much. That will probably happen now, you know, as we get further in it. But just let him learn and see what they can do. Because the one thing, when you move guys around, no matter what you say, that – you know, young receivers, guys who haven't played a lot, you know. Z, you're the X, now you're this. You're the slot, you're this. You can say what you want. You know, when you have a group, when you know you're where your spot is, you know what you're supposed to do, you think clearly, you play fast. So we're trying to let them do that initially, and then eventually we'll sort through who the five best are and get them where they need to go. And when you look at – I know you didn't do a lot of film scout or whatever before you come in fresh, like you said, but when you did look at what you had, mm -hmm. saw what you had coming in, were you able to pinpoint anything to say where – you know, this group had moments where it was really good last year, moments where it wasn't. Mm -hmm. that was, was there anything that you could target in on? Yeah, and there's a lot of reasons for that. So, I mean, I think they took a lot of blame for a lot of things that may be from the outside. So I will just leave it at that. that you know, they're, you know, like you said, a lot of fingers pointed at that direction, but not always are the fingers accurate. You know, there's a lot of pieces involved in all things. Short yardage, there's tight ends and fullbacks. Protections, there's tight ends, fullbacks, and quarterbacks, running backs involved in that. There's a lot of things. It's not always just those five guys. So my perception is that the group was a solid group when I got them. That was my perception from – because I watch all the cut-ups. I wasn't evaluating players. I was evaluating who we were as an offense and what we did and schematics and all that. So Greg Madison singled out uh, Ben Bredesen as being – a man on the other side of the ball. What have you seen out of him since you've inherited him? Yeah, I knew Ben really well because I recruited him really hard <laughs> prior and love him and his family. And he is a very talented young man, uh, great leader. He's a warrior. He, he'll battle. Uh, so you really like him. You know, you just like him a lot and who he is. And he has a high ceiling and uh, he's fun to be around. He, he's exactly what should play at this school. Mm hmm Greg Madison also said, you know, he's seeing the ones on the defensive line are going against the ones on the offensive line in practice to kind of maximize what they can get out of it. Why do you do that? Why is that beneficial? Well, I think it's very beneficial in the spring because you have to see are your 
we have a very good defense. We all know that. There's a lot of reasons why they're good, but they have really good personnel. And then they're well coached and all that. But can our personnel match up with their personnel? And the only way you can find that out is to practice against them. And so we do that all the time in the spring. And that makes you better. And that allows you to see, are you going to be able to compete against the best teams week in and week out? Because if you can hold your own against that defense, then you can hold your own with just about anybody. So we just feel like that's a way to challenge them. And that's where the bar needs to be on our side of the ball, on our offensive line. Can they play like that defensive line? Can Rashawn, Can we block Rashawn Gary? Can we block these other guys? If we can do that, then we can hold up against the teams we play. So it's been good. We, we're enjoying doing that. And it allows me to coach them and for them to understand that technique failures, effort failures, will not work against that talented group. So you have to be technique sound, assignment sound, and you have to be very physical and play hard. And if you don't, you'll get exposed. And so they don't get plays off. That's a beautiful thing in spring. No plays off, you got to go. And you got to do it right. And if you do that, you get better, and you get better, and you get better. Jim says Caesar's locked in at, at center. I mean, are, how impressed he, are you with uh, Very impressed with, with him. I mean, he's he a young guy still. Ooh, he's young, but he's, uh, man, is he going to be really good there. What's his strength? I mean, he's a pretty smart kid. He's obviously. Yeah, he, he, he understands football very well, but he is very powerful, plays with a good base. I mean, loves football in there. I mean, he's a quick, quick feet for a center, too. I mean, so he kind of has the whole package. I mean, I have two starting centers in the National Football League that I both started as rookies. I mean, he has that kind of ability someday to get to that point. Not yet. I mean, he's just a young kid, but if he keeps going, I know what they look like. I've coached them and. He can be really, really good here. So he keeps doing what he's doing. He can be the quarterback of the O-line. How beneficial was it for him that he uh, he got to start games last year? At, oh, I think it was very game. beneficial. I think anybody that plays can gather ex from that experience. You know, you can learn from playing, and you can learn that, oh, boy, I need to get stronger here. I need to be better at this because – play against good competition. You look at who they played at the end of the schedule there. You know, the teams they were playing were really good teams. And he got to play in some of those games. And now you see where you're at. And that's what's good about going in practice against a really good defensive line is see where you're at. Nope. Pass pros, a whole thing, as you said, Max, tight ends, everybody involved. Uh -huh. How much can Caesar in the middle help mitigate some of the, some of the communication? Whatever? Him being well, I think one side. of the things that he's been outstanding at is – helping direct traffic. I mean, your center makes a lot of calls in there that set your protections. And if he sets them wrong, then you got problems. If he sets them right, then you have account you can account for everybody and he's been very good at that this spring. Very good at like that. Feel, like he can kind of feel it, he knows what he's looking oh, at. Oh no no he just football. we go through all the looks okay. and have the our rules. He knows I mean it's all coached up. You could tell them in meetings. You can go through it. Then when it's out there and it's live bullets, can you really do it? Right. He can actually do it. He can actually say, oh, that's exactly what we talked about in the meeting. I'm doing the protections this way or that way. And he's been right so at a, such a high level that that's really helped us in spring practice protect the quarterback and be more efficient passing. And um, that's a credit to him, you know, that he – can grasp that information at this, you know, stage of spring, and and he's doing a great job with that. And then he's physically, he can hold up in there too, you know, because one of the things they do in you know, our defense is very good at making the center block by himself with no help. Most centers get help on every pass protection. Our center, the way we play here on defense, he has to block by himself. Thank God he's good enough to do it because he's really, you know, he's really solid in there. I know this hasn't been decided yet, but how involved would you like to be in the play calling side? I want to be involved in whatever role Coach Harbaugh wants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> kind of going off that, and Jim hired you. He said he didn't know you real well. How was your relationship with him? You know, has it bloomed? How, how oh, it's him? it's really good. Yeah, I I, I love Jim and uh, coaches. He's awesome to be around. Um, it's going really good. I mean, my role here is to coach the offensive line and get them as good as they can be and then make the contributions I can offensively from my experiences in pass protection, 
schemes, run game schemes. And I've coordinated offenses, so I have some good thoughts and other things. And the beautiful thing is it's a very open discussion about how we want to move the football and what we want to do. And so I'm very actively involved in that. Who the play comes out of their mouth, I don't really care about that because we're all going to be on the same page. Whatever plays those are being called are going to be part of a process that we decided these are going to be our short yardage plays. These are going to be our goal line plays. They're not just going to be that. They're going to be well thought out. These are the three short yardage I like. Anybody else got something? I like this one. Coach says, I like this one. Then we got, here's our plays. Here's our runs. Here's our first down. We'll put it all together. You know what I mean? And, and then it all has to fit with, can the players do it? doesn't matter if I like it doesn't matter if it draws up nice it only matters can the guys on the field execute it so that's the last piece is what you do in spring is here's what we like what are we good at doing now let's take those things and piece them together into an offensive system that moves the football down the field and we have a good system and we have really smart people here so that um, collaborative process is going really well We've got time for one or two experiences more experiences that there's kind of a point where you do know the kind of the strengths of your personnel and what kind of team that like is it is it end of fall is it during the season like, where, where do you kind of have that well going? the one beautiful thing here is you find out really good really quickly I guess our defense what the, your strengths and weaknesses are because they get exposed because they're really good at exposing that so we'll know at the end of spring what we're good at and what we're not good at you know and then uh, then you just work to get better and better at that as you go but uh, yeah I mean just it's been fun to be here it's fun to be in this program and this university great place I mean and spring's going good Grant Newsome yeah, how involved has he been he's not cleared to practice what is he doing player coach out? player okay yeah gotcha. oh my goodness yeah I ask Grant questions and then he tells me he's the <laughs> smartest guy in the room <laughs> it's not me he is I'm like Grant what should we do there <laughs> but really he uh he he is very involved and sits in the meetings and does his rehab and I think everything's going right on target there the way it should uh, love to have him right now but obviously time will will get it back but uh, he he contributes a lot mm -hmm. in a positive way and you know because he's one of those guys that he knows not just a and b about a play he knows c d e and f mm -hmm. and so i'm like well, well let's just get through a and b first would you Fred? say he's cerebral yeah <laughs> Brett is no, no, positive, in a positive way. It doesn't way, have to yeah. be the last. Uh, Bredesen the other night was complimenting your work at Ohio State, but said he wanted to kind of draw the line. Didn't want to over compliment Ohio State. How <laughs> is it odd for you to have been there? For, I mean, did you take any maybe fans give you a little heat for coming here? No, I mean, coaching is is what it is. I mean, you go places, you coach, you give them everything you have, you do the best job you can, and it's a very high stress position job it's a very high stress on the families the coaches sometimes you just need to change to re-energize to refresh sometimes those things happen all I know is that everywhere I've been I've loved it I've worked hard and I've given them all I had and I'm going to do the same thing here and I draw from the players I love coaching college football players I'm so proud of the guys that I coached at Minnesota or Ohio State or Notre Dame or whatever and I stay in touch with them and I get contacted when they have children, and when they get married, I go to their weddings. And so, I mean, that's why you do this. None of those guys gave you a hard time? Any of those former Ohio State players? Oh, they do, but <laughs> not, they don't. it's not personal. I mean, they just, <laughs> you know, there's rivalries. I mean, you know, I mean, when we walk in the tunnel at Notre Dame, that's going to be intriguing, right? I coached there for two years. So, uh, and when we go into the last home game, that'll be intriguing, right? For you, for mostly. me, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and when we go to the team in East Lansing, that will be too, because I started my coaching career there. So I coached there for two years as a graduate assistant. So jogging in those stadiums will be uh, kind of interesting on this side, and it'll be fun. And uh, I look forward to that, you know. But uh, yeah, all that's just part of the game, and you know, it is what it is. I mean, and. Uh, Everybody understands. So it's, it's about this team, though, and about us getting better and us doing our job and maximizing what we can do with this team. And uh, that's all I'm focused on. The other stuff are just happy memories.
Can I ask what your uh, impressions are of Don Brown? Last question, because we got Josh Metellus standing over there. Uh, oh, Don, Don's, Don's awesome. We're really good friends. Uh, you know, love how he coaches. Love competing against him before I came here. Now I, I even love it more. Keeps you on your toes, makes you be at your best, makes you dot all your I's and cross all your T's, and that helps you be a great coach because he is a great coach and his defense is doing a great job.